Good day, viewers. Walter here. Appreciate you tuning in to my channel. You know, my viewers know from experience that often I'll just tell a story or usually it's a railroad related story. It's not always railroad related from my lifetime. A lot of uh, personal stories from my personal life have been included in this here on people all part, but by and by, by and large, a lot of my stories have been railroad related. So I figured, I thought I'd do a, I've always considered writing a journal of my, my career as a, of my life as a railway carman. So the other day I sat down here and started writing. I will still do videos projects and various other things, but I thought occasionally I'd do another page from my journal. Maybe one of these days we'll actually get the whole journal written. Wouldn't it be neat if I could publish it and actually have a book printed from it? But anyway, I'm sharing my vlogs with you today. Uh, the vlog I'm sharing with you today would be part one of my life as a railway carman. I sat here the other night and wrote a couple of chapters. Don't forget to comment and give me your opinion on whether you would find it interesting for me to share my life as a railway carman beginning as far back as I can remember with my career with the railroad. And I'm sure along the way we can think up lots more stories to tell you. I'm using Corel Video Studio here, and I'm going to proceed on uh, with what I've written to this extent. I'm not guaranteeing I'll ever finish this journal. Here we go. Page one, My Life as a Railway Carman by Walter Parks, a.k.a. P. Walpar, here on YouTube. This is my journal, but it would also be presented to my P. Walpar viewers in the form of a series or playlist as yet determined linked, as I have yet to write it. I have produced videos on YouTube for a good many years, and for the last 20 years, many of my stories, which are often railroad related, have been published online at www.carnocker.com. So occasionally during the journal, when I pick up one of my stories and copy and paste it right into the journal here as if I was telling it for the first time. So you can expect you might occasionally hear a repeat story. But along the way, we've tried to think up some more stories for you. This journal and blog will cover much of what this retired railway carman can recollect. I'm certain I've already forgotten much. I hope your readers with viewers will find what I have to say of some interest. My name is Walter Parks. My railroad, my railroad career began in 1969 when I was 23 years old. I had just been honorably discharged from the U.S. Navy after having served a four-year hitch of active duty. I was hired by the Southern Railway as a railway carman in September of 1969, I served two more years in inactive Naval Reserve. Any further mention of my military days would require another journal entirely. My career ended in 2003 when I retired from the Norfolk Southern Railroad for medical reasons. I will conclude today's vlog with a poem that I insert at this point in the journal. I am a car knocker, a poem written by Walter Parks, 10-12-2005. It all began back in 69 when I hired on with the Southern Railway line. I worked as a carman to fix their trains, a job that required much use of my brains. I surely may, may have been off my rocker to have ever become a railroad car knocker. 
For 34 years I worked out of doors. Many of my tasks were wearisome chores. In all hours of the day, in all kinds of the weather, I wore out my share of the old shoe leather. Helped keep the trains going, moved a lot of freight, kept clothes on my family's back and food on their plate. But it was oh so hard due to the inflation rate. Did a lot of welding, was handy with a torch. Only occasionally, myself, I did scorch. Worked on the derrick, a huge brown horse crane. Rode it to the wrecks, picked up many a train. Spent 20 years in an outline point. Twice had surgery on the old knee joint. When trains broke down, the car knocker was around. When trains derailed, the car knocker prevailed. I was always there when me they did need. I was always there with utmost speed. Then came the day when I got hurt. They cast me aside like so much dirt. The work you did we truly admire. Now we feel you must retire. To the goals you set, now others aspire. We can't use you no more. So there's the front door. As I passed into the fall of my life, I surely remember all the toil and strife. I look back with pride into all confide. I'm a car knocker till the day I die. Thanks for listening, my friends. This is P. Walpar concluding this part of the vlog. Please.